If there is clarity, then only is a festival. Life only becomes festival when there is a light. When there is a clarity, not the confusion. When there is a confusion, always, even we are in the midst of the festival, we can have the true joy in our lives. That's why this connection to the Divine Masters according to Indian scriptures and my own experience also. Because whatever I am today, I know is all because of the Divine Masters, my Divine Guru, Sadhguru. It's all because of Him. The whole credit goes to Him. The Divine Touch given by Him at such a young age, at the age of eight, and today life became festival. That's why when she said, How are you? Super. You can feel super, even things are not super. This can happen. Even things are not super. But you can stay super. And that is the grace of the Guru. He makes you, He shapes you in such a way, wherever you are, things are well, great. Things are not well. You have no problem. You become no problem. It's not that you only keep saying no problem, but you become no problem. That can happen. And that can happen because of that grace. It's all grace to Arjuna. Why I brought Arjuna today because it's a beautiful example of surrender. Arjuna is a great example. There are so many examples in our scriptures, in our country, in our Indian scriptures, in our Indian cultures. The whole culture is full of surrender, full of devotion. When Arjuna became confused, lost his clarity, and he was so confused, he was even ready to leave the battlefield, means his duty, his own dharma. He was ready to leave that. He was so confused, he didn't know what is right and what is wrong, because there was no clarity. And he says, eyes in his tears to Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita in the beginning. Karpanya dosha pahata svabhava pricchami tvantharna sammuda cheta yashreya asya nishchitam ruhitan me my master, I am very confused. I don't know what is right and what is wrong. You show me the path, take my hand, give me the light. And tell me the right path, show me the right path. 
Shishyasteham. How this happened? When he said Shishyasteham and Twam Prapannam. Maam Shadi, Aham Twam Prapannam. Shishyasteham, Aham Shishyas, Te Shishyah. Shishyasteham, Aham Tav Shishyah, Shadi Maam. I am in your shelter. I surrender to you. Guide my path. Show me the light. And there was the great beginning of this Bhagavad Gita. And this happened only with Sharanagati. When this happens in our life, when we have this bhav, Shadi maam twam prapannam aham shishya twam. When I become the shishya, grace happens. The whole Bhagavad Gita came because of that surrender. In our life, today we have to see our surrender is to whom? Where we are connected. Most of the life, most of the time, somebody was telling me one day, one day was he, Kattak karma kamavane doshna ka ujo parmeshwarte pulaya vyakana sadhero. Kattak karma kamavane doshna ka ujo parmeshwarte pulaya vyakana sadhero. Whenever you lose your connection, with the divine and you try to become the CEO of the universe it means your clarity is lost your clarity is lost you are living in confusion so you are not aligned with the divine so you, we need an alignment to find that alignment to find that clarity we go to the master and this is the day to day to find out when we meditate we find out in ourselves not only we have a discussion and discourse and we go back when we go back in the evening before we sleep must find out how much clarity I have in my 50s or in my 60s or in my 30s whatever age you have find out and whenever you are confused, clarity is lost, you are living with, united with the ego. You are united with the ego. But this connection is not unite with the ego. This connection is to unite with the divine. Mostly people, when they do yoga, they perform yoga, they learn certain asanas, get the flexibility in, through those yogas in the body, but the true yoga is not to have certain, master certain postures. The true yoga is when you become yoga. And the true yoga is when you are united with the divine. It's not that we are not united. We are united. Yoga means unity. Yoga means unity. Unity with whom? We are united in yoga also. But our hands are united to our knees. It's not true yoga. The true yoga is that when you are united with the divine, when we are united with the divine, you become full of clarity. Mostly we are united with our egos, our anger, our grudges, our jealousies. These small, small things look small, but they are the one control our life.
we have to see today we are controlled by our higher self the true self the divine self or we are controlled or ruled by our ego desires expectations and the grudges and the jealousies whenever we get united with all these vices we lose our clarity we lose our focus so for that today is the day have a reunion through the grace of the guru whatever happened during the whole year dedicate in the holy fields of the divine who is the master of the universe dedicate all of that in the divine fields of the lord and start with a new fresh things happen in life things happen in life is not things don't happen in life in everybody's lives that things happen vices happen shorts coming enters in our system but in the light of the guru today is the day all of that we take together when we meditate and offer to the divine he is the only one who can take care of it that's what arjuna did when he surrendered he said shishya steham when he surrendered i am your shishya with that you will see when whole bhagavad gita was completed he could say nashto moha nashto moha means what my all doubts are clear i have a clarity my all doubts are clear nashto moha smriti labda now i am not confused anymore i am enlightened how tat prasadat tat prasadat maya chuta i am enlightened by your grace and now because the light is there clarity is there nashto moha this bhav that i am the sea of the universe is over i understand is not me is you i am just there you are the one who is fighting this battle i am just an instrument i am just a tool in your hands this is what clarity means every time whenever ego enters in our life tries to kill us to ruin us always go back to the divine center the divine corner and see what is entering into my system and that's what arjuna did and end of the day the result is there he could say nashto moha is not me is you krishna saketi matva prasam yaduktam he krishna he ya tava he saketi ajanata mahi manam pavedam he came to know i was just thinking i am living with you thinking that you are my friend you are krishna you are my sakha just as that friend just we were playing together but he forgot that's behind you behind this this one swarupa there is a swarupa there is a divine form a cosmic form a virat swarup and because of that light today divyam dadami te chakshu pashyame yogameshwaram because of that light is given to me today i could see you and now i realized and my doubts are clear confusion is no more and i got the clarity because of you and i do now i will follow your advice not my advice 